What is up guys? This is going to be a walkthrough of the Resident Evil HD remaster. And I just thought that this would be a good opportunity to get some view base going and to just, you know, be here for your entertainment. And before we get this started, I just want to say that this has been brought to you by Kinch Gaming, where you can get all of your professional gaming controllers 5% off if you use the alpha FTW promo code that is alpha FTW alpha for the win they make professional custom gaming controllers um, I find that their controllers are fantastic I really think you should check them out now with that said Let's enjoy some Resident Evil. Right now it's loading my, my game. Although I am starting from the beginning, it's just loading my profile. Because I have beat this before on the PS4. Alright, let me just make sure my options are all good to go before we get started here. Okay. Resident Evil. And the fun begins. Now, I'm going to bump it up just for the joy of doing this walkthrough. I'm not a perfect gamer. I am definitely not perfect at Resident Evil, especially when it comes to these old ones. But I do find that they're enjoyable to play. So don't judge me because I might suck. But for the heck of it, I'm going to actually bump up the difficulty a little bit. And we'll keep subtitles on for people that uh, have trouble hearing. Okay. How do you like your games? I like climbing a mountain. Fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike. Good exercises, but not too stren strenuous. Like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. First time I played this, I did it on taking a walk. I don't think I'm ready for climbing a mountain, but we're going to take a hike. Um, now, when you play Chris, Chris is typically uh, more difficult than Jill Valentine. Uh, I'm not really good with playing with Chris, and I'm more familiar with Jill Valentine's. So, we're going to play with Jill Valentine. Um, also, for the heck of it, we're going to use the BSAA costume. Brings back some of that, you know, Resident Evil 5 feel to it. And here we go. Now, I will try to be quiet during the video so you guys can hear if you guys have never uh, played or watched walkthroughs of this. So here we go. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. Oh, yes, it did. Yep. Some scary shit going on.
this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. Alright, now, before I start playing, like I said, I'm going to be going through this. It might take a couple days to get through. It may take a week or two. I'm just kind of going to go through this laid back. I'm going to enjoy myself, but also entertaining you guys. Also, um, coming up here soon, we're going to have to fit this into the schedule because this is also important. Um, I was invited to the closed beta for Planet Side 2, so obviously betas are limited. So I'm going to have to fit some time into for that game as well. Um, but you can catch it all here on my channel. Um, all these videos specifically for Resident Evil um, will be going to YouTube as well. So if you don't uh, get to watch me live, you can catch it on my YouTube channel. Um... And as far as for Planet Side 2 goes, I probably will upload gameplay of that on there as well for you guys to check it out. Alright, now without f further ado, let's get started. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. It's funny. Her costume is like way more HD than theirs, but of course it's from Resident Evil 5, so you can expect that. I think the textures on it are better. And here we go. care of it. Get yeah, a magnum and takes you three shots. Really? Point blank range you can't get a headshot. What the hell is this <laughs> thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker.
Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. And now the maze begins. Now, if you've never played Resident Evil, or if you have, but you haven't played the old style ones, then you're in for a surprise. This Resident Evil is a lot different from the rest. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. But like I was saying, the old Resident Evils have lots of puzzles and, and clues and stuff you gotta figure out. Unlike a straightforward walk in a park, it's a lot more in-depth and um, it, it's a lot harder and it's a lot more fun, actually. Oh. Before we go back there, I'm going to go get this little map so we can see where we are. Now, when it comes to the documents like this, I don't want to sit here and pause for a while just on this. If you really want to read it, you can pause the stream or whatever, um, or you can go back and, and you can do it. But I, I think I'm going to give you guys just a minute to, to look over it, but I don't want to sit here for long. That one was strictly for the gameplay, so if it's a gameplay one, I'll just skip it. If it's something that pertains to the story, I'll give you guys a minute to read it. Um, but again, I don't want to sit there forever. Everybody reads at different speeds, so... Good luck getting out of that one. All right, uh, where to next? Now, um, I was reading into some articles. Now, apparently, um, Capcom will be remaking a lot of their old games. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to include Resident Evil 0 and like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. I can only hope so. 
Um, but it is something to look forward to and to look into, I guess. Um, and not it's not just for Resident Evil. They are going to be remaking a lot of their other ones as well. Save those for later, I guess. Oh crap, I didn't mean to open that door. I was trying to figure out how to run. Or no, my character is already running. That's by default. I'm so used to playing the original. The original you had to... Like you were walking and you had to hold X to run around. I'm really trying my best not to shoot and save my ammo since I'm on a harder setting. But another thing too, if you don't burn the zombies after you kill them, they come back as crimson heads, and and you don't you don't want a crimson head. Let me just tell you, you just do not want a crimson head.
hate being in a cemetery. There we go. Cool fact, by the way, the difference between a cemetery and a graveyard is a cemetery is built on a church. A graveyard is just some random grave uh, that somebody put together. Just a local fact. The Book of Curses. Basically, after I find all these masks, something evil is going to come somewhere down here. Not going to tell you. I'm just going to let you... And then here's the mask. You just like got to place them. I'm not going to tell you what's going to pop up. I'll leave you guys to wonder. Alright, sword key. Okay, the sword key goes to somewhere in this house, or this mansion. Gotta remember where. See, that's the thing, it's hard to remember where everything is. Okay, that's the helmet. I need to, like, write this stuff down. So, helmet downstairs, on the right side. You know what? Since I'm not using, since I'm not cheating, and I'm not using some, you know, magazine, I wanna, I wanna actually type this stuff up on my computer. That way I can keep track of, you know, where everything is. It'll help me out and it'll, I guess, kind of speed up. What was this one down here? The, the shield? A helmet, I'm sorry. Helmet. Okay. So, the helmet. Helmet. Downstairs right side okay because trust me you can easily easily forget where everything is Okay. Um, armor. Upstairs. Right. First door. First door. On right. So basically, you go up the steps, go to the right, it's the first door. On the right side of the entire mansion. And then when you go through here, it's the first door on the right. Okay, so they're both armor. Okay. And then the steel doors as well. Alright.
when you first start Resident Evil, I mean, you'll you'll get a feel for it, and and it takes time to kind of get used to, but it's actually really fun, especially the old ones. Some of them, I mean, they can be scary too. Basically, this is just saying that there is, it's not part of the story. It's just telling me that there's a dog that has something in its collar that I need, and I gotta blow this whistle to get the dog. I'm just trying to speed up the process, so, I mean, and this right here is just telling them how herbs work in the game. If it's part of the story, I won't go so fast, but if it's something that you don't really need to know, then I'll just skip it. I don't remember if there's anything else in this room. Oh, crap. Hello. Oh, come on. Get off me. See, you just don't want to kill him. When you kill them and they come back, dude, oh, it's it's a nightmare. They're just you'll see, because eventually I'm gonna have to kill one of these zombies. All right. Don't think I need this for a while. Um, so the dog whistle. I know I'm not going to die. Handgun am no, why did I put my handgun ammo up? Definitely gonna need the sword key. I'm gonna have to save here in a second. But I don't need the first aid, don't need this emblem, as of right now anyway. Um, I believe this is for oil. Or fuel, whatever. And we're gonna fill it up, because we gotta be able to burn these zombies. I am so I, I see I'm on a harder setting. I am not messing around. I don't want to I don't want to have to deal with these freaking crimson heads. And trust me, you don't you don't want to either. Now see, since the doorknob's broke, I gotta go all the, com completely all the way around to get back to there. It's annoying, but once you get past this, the beginning mansion part, it gets some pre you get some pretty intense crap. Yeah. A shotgun. Mm. 
see, I don't want to... I don't want to grab the shotgun because I can't. I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to come back here. And we got the ink ribbon there, which is always good to have. We also got the shot. I'll, I'll come back for this. It's not needed right now. I'll come back. Something happens, and I won't be able to come back to that room if, if I get the shotgun. Now we go into the bathroom. How you doing, old man? Those look like weird sea monsters. Well, she got sick. Yeah, yeah. Because you clogged it up with your throw up. All right, guys, give me one sec. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. So I think it glitches sometimes because they're supposed to jump over. But he's having too much fun running around. But yeah, I don't think I. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to come out here just yet. I think that's why it glitches up. Oh, this is why I need to get the camera, because if you would have saw my reaction, I about pissed myself. See, it's things like that. It is things like that in this game. There's random moments. Yeah, we kind of went in a circle, but we got to go upstairs is where we got to go. We got to go on a balcony. We got to go whistle that dog. Barry. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? 
Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Alright, well... armor as well for the um, upstairs back right door. Alright, let's try the left side. I mean, I know I checked these earlier, but there we go. Okay, we go, we go in here and then take one of the doors and then it's going to take us back to where that door was at that we broke the, the handle on. But it, it, see, it's just a matter of which door because I have no idea. Well, that door's locked. Ah, right, yeah, we're going to go take that other door. So if I take the other one, I think it leads into a hole. Yeah, that's right. Oh, here we are. All right. Oh, come on, get off me. No! Yeah, stab that dog. Get him off. Yeah, dogs on this game are not my forte. I, I really suck. I... Yes. I know I can't care anymore because that stupid guy gave me acid shells. And I don't need the dog whistle anymore, but... Oh, wait. Hold on. If I walk out, it might tell me. There we go, and then I can walk back in and grab it. That's right. All right, cool. There's always a ways around things. I like it. It's not a coin, I'll tell you that right now. And I believe it's the armor key. Actually, it is not the armor key. You'll see what it is here in a second. I just gotta remember how to get there. See, that's the problem. I know what I can visualize where all the rooms are, or what the rooms look like, 
but I cannot, for the sake of anything, re remember how to get there. That's the hard, that's like always the hard part. Huh. Thank you for your kind manners. You p try to puke on me. How disgusting. Okay. Um, I do not want these acid shells. As of right now, I'm not really burning any zombies. I'm just kind of running past them. So we'll just keep that there. Sword key, I'm not really sure what else I need it for. Although, I can't, I may need it, I, I can't remember. And we're gonna save it too. Yeah, by the end of the game, I'll have like 50 ink ribbons. You get so much. See if there's anything. Okay, I guess there's not. I guess there's not anything else in here I need. Okay, here's that fake shotgun. Oh, oh broken shotgun. Oh, I'm sorry. Put that in the the, the uh, where the actual shotgun was, and um, then it'll allow me to get the real shotgun off the crate or off the handles or whatever you want to call it. I think that's what all this room is for. Okay, I know how to get there now. The zombies probably won't go. Yep, and I believe he just turned into a crimson head. I forgot that. Yeah, he was dead already. I didn't burn him. So, yeah, he was a crimson head. You can tell because his arms or whatever, his hands were sharp. Alright, we're going to take this key. Oh, crap. Crap. Oh, come on. Um. I uh, see. I got you there. You, you thought I. You thought I was screwed. Nope. We're good. And I believe this is the armor key. All right. Armor key. Oh, yeah, 
that's the helmet key for that door. And then we gotta go back down here through the freaking crimson head. Ah, I don't want to. Just in case he tries to hurt us. Well, I, I was kind of injured already a little bit. And see, you never want to scare these crows. So you always got to like kind of walk slowly. All right, so I need to go get that actual shotgun. That's what I needed to do. And then put up this ink ribbon as well. Hold on. Check a quick button to access the map. There we go. All right. So the armor. Oh. All right. So the armor is indicated by okay so the center where the stairs are on the right side is armor um so when you go there okay we'll come back for these herbs later This should link up to the the hall right here. Yeah, I think I heard a zombie. And then we'll cut through here, go through the dining room, and then that'll lead us to the main room. Or the... I don't even know what you call it. Oh yeah, totally forgot about this. Although I don't think I'm, I don't think I need it just yet. Yeah, we don't. I don't need that just yet. I'm just gonna leave it that way. I'm not taking out my inventory. Cause it's see, that's the thing. It's you can't discard items. You can't like lay them down anywhere. So it's like either you take it or you don't take it. If you take it and you don't need it just yet, then you gotta run all the way back to wherever your saving spot is, or a saving spot that has a storage. Um, unit in it, or whatever you want to call it, chest, box, whatever. zone uh, there are monsters uh, uh, what did this to you a big snake uh, and it had to be poisonous poisonous Richard hold on bring me serum I saw some but didn't bring any I'll go and get it okay you're gonna make it thanks On the wage of the serum, I'm actually going to save it. I think I want to wrap it up here. Um, it's just to get, it's getting the dinner time and stuff like that. So I'm going to make me something to eat. But, yeah, I'll probably start streaming this. Probably daily. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll make it my daily streamer for about 3 o'clock, maybe a little before, a little after 3 o'clock each day. Um, and like I said, if you don't catch it on that time, that's okay. 
I'll be uploading all the streams for this walkthrough onto YouTube. I'm going to export it right away as soon as I get finished. So you can always catch it up on there. Um, now, if you don't know my YouTube channel, the YouTube channel is just called Bosstron. It has a picture of me with my Call of Duty gear on and my, and my Turtle Beach headset. Um, so you can find that on YouTube. Um, also be sure to check out my teams or my, my news team. Uh, check out our Facebook and our Twitter. It's Alpha X Games. All it is is, you know, search www.facebook.com forward slash Alpha X Games. Same thing, twitter.com forward slash Alpha X Games. All this has been brought to you by Kinch Gaming. You can get custom professional controllers if you use the promo code. What is it? I'm sorry, I forgot the promo code. Alpha FTW. If you use that, you get 5% off all your Kinch gaming controllers. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.